Hey YouTube, first I want to start out by honoring the men and women who've lost their lives uh, in service of our country. Uh, this is a day, Memorial Day, that we do that. Um, and um, just want to send out my love to those family members who have lost loved ones that, uh, uh, so that uh, people like me could uh, freely distribute information and um, care about people across the entire planet. All right. First of all, let's start out with effects. We take a look at the effects here. Um, we've got a stereo distortion effects. If you don't know how to do this, you go into the library and you scroll down until you find uh, stereo distortion. I'm going to route that to AUX1. And I go into instruments. And what we're going to do today is we're going to take uh, the upright bass and we're going to take the six string acoustic guitar and we're going to turn those into electric guitars. Alright, so first of all I've got a, a nice little beat going. It's a real basic beat. And I'm going to start by recording uh, the upright bass. Ooh, wrong octave. Undo. Alright, let's change the octave here. And hit record again. trick I've learned is if I hit the undo redo button really quickly it turns off the record light and it allows me to do functions like copy tracks and erase and do all kinds of stuff without stopping the recording all right so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this acoustic guitar into an electric guitar you can take any string instrument and turn it into electric guitar using this uh, technique. All right, first thing to learn about uh, the guitar is um, it, it rings out. Whoops, change the octave again. So when I hit the string, you expect that string to continue to vibrate. Um, when you're playing a keyboard, that doesn't happen. Okay, so the way that you can fake it out is you use a sustain pedal. Okay, just continue to ring out. Why that's important is because sometimes you're you're hitting two notes at a time and you want to be able to hear that chord going. Alright. Um, and then if you're doing something like an arpeggio, um, you're gonna to wanna to tap your foot so that it uh, sounds uh, it doesn't get to sound real muddy. So like for instance, let's say you play, oh, that sounds really nasty and muddy, unless you're like Guns N' Roses or something like that. So let's do the. And you wanna tap your foot while you're doing it. Okay, and that brings us to the next thing: is modulation. This particular patch is designed to do modulation on aftertouch. Hear that? All right. Another way you can do is you hit the modulation wheel. Okay. All right. The next effect, or next thing that you can do, is a pitch bend. And because I'm doing a ghetto tripod, uh, I will have to uh, fake it out by doing the, the sustain pedal and then hit it. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear it. Another way you can fake out the uh, the pitch bend sound is to just actually hit the actual notes. And if you do it really quickly, it sounds like it's a pitch bend. And it might be helpful to use a sustain pedal. Hear that? Okay. All right. So that's the basics. Um, Oh yeah, I forget, uh, there's also the idea of octaves, um, just kind of bouncing back and forth. And I think it actually sounds cooler when you, like, um, you know, don't go quite the full octave. Alright, 
right, so that's the basics for uh, doing electric guitars. Just can that signing out. Um, just want to say happy Memorial Day again. Peace.